So hello everyone, it's Toby from Toby's Urban Sketch and this is my latest sketchbook. So I had the good fortune to go on holiday for four weeks um, to Patagonia. So here's a load of sketches from Patagonia. Now I'm not going to, well I'll show you them all, but I'll just talk about a few of them otherwise we'll be here all day. Um, and I'll show you the ones which went right, I'll show you my favourite ones and I'll show you the ones which went wrong. And hopefully from just having a flip through this, You'll get a bit of inspiration, a bit of confidence that it's okay to fill up a sketchbook and for things to go wrong. But also, by experimenting, you'll, you'll learn some things. The first sketch I did is here. So this is just a, a, a quick sketch done in a, an airport. This one is a nice example of tired sketching. So I was really exhausted. Uh, it's the first day we'd had a 14-hour flight. But just a really loose sketch and then some fun colours and you've got a really nice memory. And this probably took five minutes. Um, yeah, and I, I really like it. There's lots of other little things that you can do and you don't have to add colour, so you don't have to worry about filling your sketchbook. Again, this is a couple of my favourite sketches from the whole holiday. And really, I was experimenting with um, with hatching and with pulling apart planes through hatching, so pushing things back, pulling things forward by showing different kind of hatches. Little things are fun to sketch, trainers, street views, applying bolder lines to create something more cartoony, which is what I've done in both of these. This one I really like. This is, um, what I've done is four different continuous lines going one side to the other. And that again is just splitting an image into planes, the background, the middle, then the foreground, and then just really loose colour on top and holding back some of the colour, the buildings stay white and allowing that kind of flow to just be its own art. Painted a couple of different things, this is with soluble ink, I love doing portraits like this, just loads of loose lines. This is more my normal style, um, again like loose continuous lines, splashes of colour. And then there's quite a lot of natural sketching I did as well, where I just I was trying things out again, experimenting a lot with hatching with different line quality. And again, this is another example of how hatching or or leaving things negative, negative space. See how all this image is is a series of planes. We've got the back, we've got the middle, and we've got the foreground. And just by separating things out, you get quite a compelling image rather quickly. These are a couple which perhaps didn't go so well, but um, I learned from. So here, I just like this is this is too zoomed in. So by zooming things out, suddenly you get this story going through the image. This is the same building, the same people. I've done about ten minutes after I did that first one, but now you understand a lot more about what's going on just because I I pulled the image back too close, just right. That's what I'd say for that one. Here's an example of one which did not go well. And what I learned from this was actually I really liked the line work, but I then tried too hard with the colours. And then I kept trying and trying. And the colours blended and blurred too much and there was no negative space left. And yeah, it's okay. The the line work was really lovely. Um, but from there I sort of remembered, chill out a bit, take it easy and it, it will it will go better. I did a few with just watercolours, so this is watercolour only, watercolour only, which is a really nice way of just grabbing these scenes rather quickly and being quite vivid. These are a couple of little cartoony scenes I did, same here. And again, more experimentation with hatching. What I was trying to do, each of these, they're not very compelling views, but I think the sketch is really interesting. And all I've done is I've sketch from different hostels we were at. So this is just the view, the only view I had access to from this hostel, and let's make something of it. And it's a really fun way of, you know, <laughs> I've got a fence and a distant view and some rooftops. I've got a, a car park and some trees and it, it becomes interesting if you let it become interesting, if you just have a bit of fun with it. Really loose sketches of people, more loose sort of sketches just from this is the bus station here's some sort of imaginary sketching more watercolors 
again a watercolour of our tent, more imaginary sketching, a way to fill up a uh, a bus journey. And again, I'm just developing through this whole holiday actually, I developed a lot with my hatching, um, using fine lines but hatching to pull things apart, move things around and make images interesting without the watercolour. Same here, but I thought, how can I apply really minimal colour but make it interesting? This is um, where I rediscovered my Fude pen uh, from Tombow and thought, um, really infuriated Tash, actually, I left the airport uh, as we were trying to sort of check in. So I just thought this was a really cool, interesting place to sketch. And this is um, the Puerto Natales airport from the car park. This, of course, is the plane. I sketched this on the plane. I also sketched this whilst on the plane, sort of uh, from uh, memory of what it, the airport looked like. Again, becomes a bit cartoony. And another just very simple sketch of um, a natural structure, a sauna volcano, having a bit of fun, just making things interesting and just, just shapes. It's just a few shapes, but it, it's a good memory. I'm sketching it. A sofa in a hostel, a few people in a fish market. Pulling apart complicated shapes just by applying um, colours I want to. So I've made two red, two green, two blue, two gold. And now you can see that there's lots of different boats. Whereas without that, it's a bit of a, a challenge to pull apart the different boats. Here again, just different colours for different structures, pulls things apart, and then the hatching separates out layers. And again, this is just me trying to go to a cafe and sketch its view. Again, another view from a cafe, a view from a, a restaurant. And then this is the last day, so a really quick sketch um, from, I think I was on a bus as I sketched this. And then I was in the airport um, and I thought I'll sketch a few people in McDonald's. And then finally I'm again on an airplane sketching from memory, sketching this place called the House of Ducks, which I sketched from a photo and a couple of sketches again from photos. This is a view from a hostel we stayed at. This is again a nice market. And there you go. That is um, hopefully not too long and, and boring. Uh, a look through this sketchbook but an idea of just what I do to fill up a sketchbook, how I vary the style through the sketchbook and usually revert back to my normal style but have fun, explore, don't get too bothered by mistakes and if you're not feeling like doing something specific you can always change and have a bit of fun. Change from doing line and wash to watercolour, change from doing line and watercolour to just line, change from doing something really complicated to something really simple like these and then you without too much fuss find yourself filling up sketchbooks, having fun, developing your art, learning your style and hopefully finding your happy creative place. Hope you've enjoyed that, hope you found it interesting, hope it's given you something to think about um, and hopefully just given you a bit of confidence to just go out and create. If you enjoy my stuff please do like, subscribe and um, let me know in the comments what you think. Have a good rest of your day. Here's a bit of easy touch.